hello you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm bailey and today i have a wingstop mukbang for you i'm not really sure why to be honest i think i was just craving muck i was craving muck i was <laughs> i was craving muck no what <laughs> I was craving Wingstop because every single girl on my TikTok for you page is doing Wingstop mukbangs. And I was like, I want to be a part of this. Me and my brother Noah drove an hour for this Wingstop. 30 minutes there, 30 minutes back. I actually do it quite frequently, if you want to be honest. I personally love Wingstop. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of their work. And driving 30 minutes for it really isn't that big of a deal to me. So I'm going to do a Wingstop mukbang. But I also wanted to take this time to answer some of your guys' recent questions and also kind of give you a little bit of a life update because i have some very exciting news for you but you're gonna have to wait till the end for the amazing news i asked you guys on my instagram story to ask me any questions that you have been wondering lately or things that you want to know or just like ask me and i'm gonna get to those in a little bit but first i'm gonna do a little wing stop haul and start eating because i am literally starving like i mentioned me and my brother drove there together and we got the all-in bundle which means you get 16 boneless wings a large fry and six tenders and we just split it off first up is the beautiful beautiful parmesan garlic fries now like i've said a couple times um we had to drive a very long time to get these which means we had to drive a very long time back from getting these so these are a little bit soggy now and i'm kind of disappointed but these are really easy to like crisp back up in the pizza oven or in like an air fryer so i'm gonna do that probably won't eat too many of these in this form just because they're soggy I got some ranch. Wingstop has the best ranch in the entire world. I'm not being dramatic. Think of your favorite... <coughs> Think of your favorite ranch and then think of um, something better than that. It's this. I love it. I need to like move the camera. So good. Like even soggy fries with this ranch. It's so hard. Mm. Okay. 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 Mm, I don't know where to put all this. Okay. Oh gosh. There's like leaking on me all right next thing i said we got is tenders why did stuff just spray out of it we got tenders and i actually already took a bite because i couldn't resist because this is a new flavor it's the maple sriracha dude 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 i was watching a bunch of the wingstop mukbangs on tiktok and that's what gave me the craving to like want to go get muk why do I keep calling it muck? Mukbang. I keep calling the food mukbang. The reason that I wanted Wingstop and the reason that I wanted to film this video is because I wanted Wingstop. You know what I mean? <laughs> no shit, I wanted Wingstop because they were I wanted Wingstop because everybody's posting about Wingstop. And when people were posting about this particular flavor, the maple sriracha, very mixed opinions. I'll say if you don't like maple syrup, don't get them. I am a huge maple syrup person. Like, I don't know what. I could put maple syrup on anything. This definitely gives more maple than it gives sriracha. But y'all, I love me a sweet and spicy wing. Here she is. She looks so gorgeous. I'm dipping her. When did I become a mukbang channel? I'm confused. Okay, let's get into the first question. Ugh. Okay, first question is, how long have you and your boyfriend been together? P.S. I love your videos. Thank you so much. Um, On December 14th, it will be three years, technically. I always say technically because I feel like we were dating longer than that we were like in a situation ship or like in the talking stage but like exclusive and like definitely dating for like a few months before he actually like technically asked me out so i always say technically whatever but three years it's so good mm, this is kind of a good question somebody said five most important things a boy should have this is hard. This is really hard. This is stressing me out. I feel like number one most important thing that anybody should have is good morals. Because if you're trying to be in a relationship with somebody that doesn't have good morals, that's going to cause like a whole bunch of problems. You know, like lying, cheating, just not being a kind person. Like having good morals and like showing that you have good morals in like multiple ways and just one is like super important. And I guess like loyalty and like not being a fucking cheater goes with morals, but obviously like loyalty it just needs to be a good person that cares about not only himself but also everyone around him but also he needs to be funny in my opinion like humor is like one of the most attractive traits of a guy like if a guy isn't funny i could literally care less about you like no no another thing that's really important when it comes to trying to date guys is making sure that the guy has security within himself and he's not like crazily insecure everyone has insecurities and i'm not shaming you if you're like super insecure like obviously like you can't help that sometimes but also there is things that you can work on and like things that you can do to boost your confidence and like your security within yourself but a lot of the toxic relationships that i've seen my friends in is because the guy is like secretly super insecure and he's like trying to put on this front that he's like super confident and like doesn't give a f 
about anything but in reality he's like the most insecure guy i've ever met in my entire life if you're a secure person like i am and you're confident in yourself and you have dreams and aspirations for yourself and you're trying to be with somebody that's incredibly insecure they're gonna honestly see you as a threat whether they want to admit that or not like subconsciously they see you as a threat and they're gonna try to like push you down and like get you to like do whatever they're it's like such a weird so just make sure he has some sort of confidence and like security within himself i don't know what number i'm at i feel like i've been talking for a really long time about this but like just make sure it's like a good guy like you can tell if somebody is a good person a lot of the time like just trust your gut is he kind is he funny is he willing to help others how does he treat his friends how does he treat his family Shit like that can kind of get a vibe so somebody said when do you think leo will propose hopefully not anytime soon that scares the shit out of me i'm still like 12 years old in my head like i feel like a 15 year old i'm not even kidding i'm honestly still scared to like kiss him in front of like my parents like absolutely not no i feel like a little child i've already stated multiple times in my life that i will not get married before the age of 21 i don't care if i feel ready at 20 i will not get married before i can legally drink like if i can't legally drink at my own wedding that sounds stupid and ridiculous to me you know later on later on i'm not opposed to being engaged for like five years though like i could get behind that and i could use a little ring no i'm kidding i'm too young for that that's like i still feel like i'm in middle school guys i'm gonna take another bite of these wings they're getting cold i'm also sitting in my freezing cold car for you you know i'd be like just go inside but like i didn't know where else a you know, mukbang would make sense like when i did my talk about mukbang answering questions and stuff i was in the car i really like the vibe i can't like film this in my bed because i'm gonna get wings up all over and like my kitchen's kind of ugly like if i had like a cute apartment then i would but I have like not a very cute kitchen and I know that doesn't matter like I'm in my car and you can like see my backyard But like whatever but the car is freezing because it's winter and I can't turn the heat on because it's too loud And you can hear it on the camera so I'm shivering my timbers or whatever food is definitely cold at this point But it's okay. It's okay. I'm enjoying it still I feel like so many people are asking me like relationship questions and I found a really good one But I kind of want to break up the relationship one So I'm gonna move on to do you regret not going to college? Um, yes and no <laughs> I think no matter what path you choose in life no matter where you're going if it's a small decision if it's a big decision any decision that you make in life is gonna come with both positive and negative like nothing is ever gonna happen and it's just like the most perfect undeniably like great thing ever like that's not real i mean if you guys want me to be honest um i've definitely felt a little bit lonely and kind of isolated since i didn't go to school and i'm just living in my hometown at my parents house everybody's kind of gone like all of my friends are like out doing their own thing in like different cities different states and it's definitely been a big adjustment and i've talked about this a lot on my podcast it's been hard but i just keep reminding myself that any change or adjustment is hard and the people that chose to go to school are also dealing with their own individual hard things they're dealing with their own struggles they're dealing with an adjustment too and it's never going to be easy no matter what like path you choose in life it's never going to be easy so i feel like on the sense that i feel kind of lonely and isolated and i feel very socially unfulfilled like i don't really have have, like a lot going on socially and that really makes me sad because i've always been a super social person i know that i'm gonna be able to find that again soon hopefully someday and everything's gonna be fine so socially yes i regret not going to college but going to college just for the social aspect is not reasonable so on the other side of it i'm very happy that i didn't decide to go to school because i just know i would not be putting in nearly as much effort or like care even to my social media and stuff and at this point in my life this is what i care about because i don't know how long it's gonna last and i might as well take advantage of it while i have it all right i'm gonna bust out my other wings i'm like oh fuck. like i said me and noah are splitting so he took half of each flavor and there's four and four and then he also got four so we each got eight i don't know if i already said that i got garlic parmesan and then i got the um korean spicy korean q i don't know it's like the spicy barbecue i don't remember the exact name but so, oh my god, I love that one. Were your parents always supportive of throwing parties? Absolutely not. Um, to be honest, to be frank, they didn't really know up until, like, my sophomore year summer going into junior year i kind of made it a little bit more obvious and they definitely tried to like i don't know my dad was definitely more i mean neither of my parents are strict whatsoever like neither of them at all but my dad was definitely like a little bit more strict with it or he was just like i know that you're gonna do it but i don't want to know about it i don't want to hear about it i want to pretend like i don't know that this is happening type of thing if that makes sense but he would like never encourage it or like i know some some of my friends parents would like buy them alcohol and stuff throughout high school and my dad was like i'm never doing that like that is ridiculous like i'll buy you alcohol when you're 21 type shit 
Like, if you're gonna do it, you have to find it on your own, you have to buy it yourself, you have to figure out how to hide it from me without, like, you know what I mean? They weren't supportive of it at all, but they put up with me and my stupid bullshit that I was pulling at such a young age. Somebody said, what is the last show on Netflix that you watched? Actually, Squid Games, the challenge, is the last show that I watched if we want to get technical about it. I finished the second half of the finale yesterday last night it's actually pretty good if you guys have seen the regular or the original squid games i honestly think i like the challenge more what was i saying <laughs> oh i watched squid game the challenge which is like a reality show about people competing in like actual squid game but instead of dying they just get eliminated from the game show and they actually somebody at the end wins like 4.5 million dollars which is insane have you been doing better question mark i hope so we all love you i love you too i love you guys so much um i have been doing better like i said this has been like kind of adjustment i feel like she's probably referring to this adjustment because like i said i talk about it a lot on my podcast and i'm very open about it and i'm open about it on like my tiktok and even on here and stuff too so i'm definitely feeling happy and i feel content right now i definitely still am feeling like i need more whether that's from moving or just like doing something new i don't know i feel like there's something in my life that i'm missing and i don't exactly know what that is right now but i'm trying to just be okay with it and realize that so many people are experiencing like there's so many people that feel like something's missing from their lives there's so many people that are dealing with shit I'm not special. This is a universal experience for a lot of people. And I'm just trying to like really enjoy this time in my life. Realize that this is a stage in my life that is going to come and pass like every other stage in my life has. And I've really just been trying to focus on each individual day and like doing things that make me happy and fulfilled within each day instead of looking out like months and months and like trying to figure out what I'm gonna do down the road or like when I'm gonna move or where I'm gonna move or if I'm gonna move or like what I'm gonna do with my life. I'm really trying to just like stay in in the present moments right now and it has been helping me find like a lot of clarity and peace and just realize like it's okay to not have my shit figured out like that's perfectly normal somebody said how do you not get bored of your boyfriend after being together for so long love you love you too i feel like i got a lot of questions like this like how do you keep your relationship so strong for so long tips like a bunch of people are asking me stuff like this i think the biggest thing is finding someone that you don't get bored with like i love leo so much like we can literally sit in silence and i will Will walk away from it being like that was so much fun finding somebody that just like makes you happy without doing anything I feel like that's a big thing like in relationships it's always like oh like what does your boyfriend do for you like what are these things like your boyfriend or your girlfriend like what do they do to make you happy and I feel like sometimes sorry my ass itches I feel like sometimes it's not even about like what they do or what they bring to the table it's just like how they make you feel without needing to do anything and I feel like if you can find the person that you can like really be like you're a hundred percent self around and like they don't even need to do anything and it just makes you happy and makes you feel like safe and at home that's how you know that you like found a really good person but i would say things definitely do get boring like i'm not bored of him but like our relationship has like you know ups and downs there's times where like we're always doing fun stuff together and then there's times like usually like in the winter time like we're not really doing much every time we hang out it's just like we're hanging out at one of our houses like watching netflix or watching like a sporting event or something it does get like a little bit boring it's not actually boring because no matter what we're doing together it's so fun Ew, I never like it's so cheesy. I hate being cheesy But I feel like a big part of it is sometimes you can fall into like habits or you like a routine Like every day he's just coming over and like watching netflix with me that can become a habit really quickly So to throw in fun things like little date nights or a couple months ago I just like told him to come over and I made him paint with me even though like I mean, he likes painting I think <laughs> maybe he lied he like he's very artistic So he likes painting too, but I made him paint with me and we just like drank a bottle of wine and like that was such a fun night so doing like little things like that it doesn't have to be crazy or like if it's warmer out we'll take trips to like beaches or state parks or you know just like get outside and like go do different things together i feel like just actually putting in the effort to plan things besides just like hanging out in somebody's room is really the main thing that like keeps things interesting and fun and also we're talking about potentially planning a trip soon so that will be something to kind of look forward to so i don't know i feel like you just have to like put in effort like both parties have to put in effort to make sure that things stay fun and interesting and you guys try new things and everything like that as far as one thing about how we've kept the relationship so strong for so long i think is we have just gone through so much together like i've seen him at like his lowest of lows and i was there for him when he needed me and vice versa like when i've been like really down bad like he's been there going through high school together and now like we're technically like in our college years i 
feel like going through all of this over this long period of time like we've just grown so close because we've been with each other through so many different stages like just high school alone feels like 12 years like the amount of personal growth you go through and the amount of friendship changes and everything like that it feels like so long so we were really together through all of that and we were able to communicate through it and to teach each other like so many different things i feel like it's really just about communication and being open to growth also i feel like a big part of it is understanding that we're so young and we don't even know what we're doing like we don't know how this works and it's just been like trial and error and like you know being able to let each other know when something isn't right or when something is right like also let that person know all right i'm gonna try one of these barbecue ones the korean q so freaking delicious look at that that looks like a like the most beautiful thing i've ever seen <laughs> i'm so weird they're just so cold for being cold still really gas someone said rate the ranch this is the best ranch literally ever it's a 1000 out of 10 okay i'm looking gonna turn the heat on for a second i'm so cold i'm so freaking cold you guys better thank me that the audio doesn't sound terrible in this video because it easily could like i could have easily recorded like this the whole time to keep myself warm to keep myself warm yeah okay i'm gonna do one more question it's so hard to answer questions in youtube video now vi youtube videos now because i'm so used to the podcast where i can talk for like an hour and a half straight and in a youtube video i need to keep it short but it doesn't feel like i've answered enough because i'm so used to answering like 35 questions in a podcast episode but on youtube like i just can't do that because the video will be too long okay i guess i'll do this because we haven't really done one like this um best advice for someone who wants to make social media slash youtube their career i I have so much I could say about this. I could honestly do like an entire podcast episode or a YouTube video dedicated to this question. What I think is really important is thinking about your why. Um, and if you guys don't know what I mean by that is like, what is the reason that you have this desire to make social media and YouTube your career? If it's strictly because of money or for free products or for whatever, 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 chances are you're gonna have a harder time succeeding at your goal versus if you actually like really, really love creating creating content and you you love like the actual work side of it like I have been able to sustain YouTube as my job for so long and other social media stuff because I genuinely love doing it so much like this is so much fun to me like sitting in my car eating Wingstop like filming a video being entertaining like taking a guy take taking you guys out of your own reality for a little bit just to make you happy and entertain you and give you my advice like that is my favorite thing in the entire world so i think what's really important is to really look at your motives for it like if it is because you genuinely care about it and like you think it's cool then yes 100 percent go for it and with that one of my biggest tips for everything whether it's with tiktok or youtube or trying to start up a podcast or instagram reels whatever you're trying to do you have to be consistent you have to be consistent you have to get analytical about it as well you can't just like post stuff to post stuff you have to like post with a purpose and you have to post with a target audience in mind no matter what you're posting bring some sort of value whether it is just entertainment or whether it's advice or whether you have like a specific niche whether you're you know more beauty focused or fashion or food like you like mukbangs like find your kind of niche which i've had a really hard time with this because i kind of blew up for just being myself which is also really great because i've been able to kind of pivot in so many different directions over the years it's just hard for me in the sense that i don't have a specific niche because i've been trying to grow my tiktok for so long like i have been putting in the work on tiktok for years and i just like haven't really been able to like blow up like most creators at this point have and most of my tiktok following comes from my other platforms which i'm so grateful for but it's hard for me to like narrow in and like continue to post like the same content because i am switching it up so frequently because you guys watch me because of just like my personality and the person that i am and then all also like what I like to you know it's so hard so I would say keep it broad enough to the point where you're still showing your personality and you're gonna gain a following because you're being entertaining and you're being funny and you're showing off your individuality but then also at the same time like make sure that you're providing a value in some sort of category whatever your niche is focus on it stay consistent you need to be posting on like TikTok and Instagram and you know all of like the shorter form content platforms like at least once a day if not multiple times a day and then as far as youtube i would recommend once a week if you're really trying to start it up maybe twice a week i'm not gonna lie though youtube nowadays is extremely hard to get started on unless you already have a following on a different platform so my biggest recommendation would be to try to blow up on tiktok or instagram reels before you put in 
all of your effort into YouTube just because I've seen it over the years get a lot more difficult to blow up on YouTube than it used to be. Like it used to be very easy to like get a viral video and now it's like very impossible because there isn't as many like trends and stuff to follow. So there is some advice. I could totally do a whole podcast episode on that. So let me know if like multiple of you guys like in the comments like want to hear more about this type of thing. And yeah, um, I guess that's it for the questions. Now for my big news. A a lot of you guys are mad at me. A lot of you guys have been DMing me. A lot of you guys have been leaving comments on my videos, on even like my TikToks and Instagram posts unrelated to it. A lot of y'all are pissed that I'm not doing Vlogmas. And I know it's heartbreaking. It's so heartbreaking. If you want to be straight up completely honest with you, I woke up one morning and it was December 1st and I hadn't planned out a single thing. And I was like, oh my God, how is it December already? How, how did this happen? Because I was fully intending on doing Vlogmas in some shape or form and then all of a sudden it was December and I hadn't planned anything out which is really difficult like if you start vlogmas and have nothing planned you're gonna fail you need to be like ahead of it you need to have stuff pre-filmed and pre-planned and whatever so my big news is that I'm not doing vlogmas this year traditional vlogmas that is I'm not vlogging 24 days straight or 25 days straight but I'm gonna be doing 12 days of Christmas what that is I'm basically going to be vlogging the 12 days leading up to Christmas so we're doing like half of vlogmas we're not doing the full 20 25 days but we're gonna do 12 days and I'm really just gonna pump out those videos for you guys every single day until Christmas I feel like this is low-key better too because a lot of you guys are still in school and I'm not saying like oh you don't have time to watch my videos like that's just an excuse but I'm saying during that time a lot of oh, oh my god a lot of you guys are gonna be on like Christmas break and everything like that so you will have more time to keep up with all of your favorite youtubers vlogmas series so I'm sorry I'm not doing 24 days hopefully next year the the year that I get my first apartment and I'm living on my own somewhere which hopefully if I'm not living on my own next year like dude shoot me <laughs> kidding kidding but having my own apartment having my own place to film vlogmas would make it so much easier so I will definitely do 25 days when I have my own place it's just really difficult when I'm living at home with my parents and my brother so yeah this year you're just gonna have to be okay with 12 days of Christmas I think it's gonna be a great time I have so many great videos planned so stay tuned for that it starts on 14th or something I don't remember but I love you guys so much thank you so much for listening to this I'm literally so cold like i don't know if you guys can tell how cold i am i've been like sitting like this because my hands are freezing i love you guys so much i feel like i'm in a freezer right now thanks for watching this video and i will see you um in vlogmas day one is that how that works i don't know what to call it let me know your your suggestions for what i should like call it and like title it like 12 days of christmas but like day one of christmas like that doesn't really make sense like do i do vlogmas day one do i start at vlogmas day 14 like what do i do what do i call it let me know in the comments and i will see you in the next video Bye bye